So it's time to meet our first legend today. I'm excited. This guy is awesome. For those of you who always wonder who's the awesome voice narrating all your favorite shows, it's Dave Roberts. This guy. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> voice over extraordinaire, talented drummer, and all around really cool dude. He's been the epic voice behind some of the biggest campaigns out there, from the voice of Panasonic to most recently being the voice for Red Bull. Red Bull TV comes in as a global platform. We make stories come alive. The world's sexiest holiday treats at an event that will take your breath away. Pretty cool, right? The guy's a legend in his own right. And we decided to catch up with him to learn all his secrets. Um, now, I know you've been doing voiceover for a long time, at least 30 years. Sure. How how long has it been, and, and how did you get started in, in doing this industry? Uh, I got a job back in my hometown of Rochester, New York. Mm -hmm. And somebody had been listening to me on the radio, and they said, geez, do you do voiceovers? And I said, of course I do, you know? Why not? Why not? Why not do voiceovers? If you don't say yes, you're never gonna get the gig, you yep. know? And they had me be the voice of all their concerts, pro all their concert promos for radio. So, you know, it would be like tonight at Madison Square Garden, the police live in person, you know, that kind of a thing. That's and awesome. That's how it started. And when it really hit hard, really hit hard, was at that lunch with Rona and my wife. And uh, when she said, I may have an audition for you, this is the agent, you know, and I said, great I'll, I'll audition mm -hmm. and I finished the audition and the Japanese were they were like oh oh you know this kind of a thing right and they really liked it but it, in and I from what I understand you have uh, a legacy of sorts because your father also worked in, in TV and his voice was also very prominent very much so and, yeah. and how does that work who who all your family works <coughs> in radio TV voiceovers and how does that work are, are you guys just have a gene that <laughs> you're just born with sounding awesome very smooth so you come out of the womb like I am here yeah yeah I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you know, how does that work? I mean, do you guys all just have a knack for it? Do you train for it? No, my father actually started it all. He worked for the Voice of America, and he was born with golden, golden voice. So it, it, do you think part of that might have been that you saw your father doing and subconsciously that created a innate need to be like, hey, you know what? I want to do that, so I want to be like my father because you maybe you look up to him in that sense. And Absolutely. The uh, interesting thing is, you know, I, I learned from him and my son learned from me, you know? And so it traveled down through the generations. Um, my two brothers are sportscasters. Everybody has a nice voice. It's the oddest damn thing because, you know, when we all get together for Thanksgiving, it sounds like a major broadcast. Everything at the table is like, please pass me the potatoes, thank you very much. You know, this kind of thing, <laughs> you know? And it, it gets a little odd. <laughs> I, can I have the salt? Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't ask for anything unless I can say it in that voice. You know, you know it's true. Everybody had a beautiful voice and Patty had had 11 years of opera her training was great you know and she said you are so lucky I said why she said because you drink scotch you smoke cigarettes like a chimney and she goes I can't believe you still have a voice and I said frankly I'll be honest with you I think that lends itself to the voice that I have so, so. that is, is that the trick to have a voice like that is it you know because the cigarettes maybe dry out the throat and so you can have a more gravel tone is it is it the scotch is it yoga exercises in the morning no I you don't know? I don't do are you yoga. doodling every time you wake up like <laughs> <laughs> no out of bed how no. do you do it no I just I I, I have my cocktail hour I, I, you know, smoke cigarettes during the course of the day, and uh, it, it has lent itself to a certain tonality in my voice. The trailer feel yeah. to it. You What's know, the craziest thing you ever had to say that made no sense for you? Like, like, why am I saying this out of all things today? What's the craziest one you've had? 
You know, I've never had any crazy moments necessarily. It's the programa por patrocinado por Chevrolet. All right, we're going to do a segment called Anything Can Be a Trailer. Dave is going to do some awesome lines for us. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, to get to the other side. Does this make me look fat? She asked him. He said yes, and then she shot him. One more thing. I'm gonna pay my check. Yeah, we've all heard that before, haven't we? You see this sign? Okay, so I, I'm, I'm very curious to know what exercises do you do? What exercises would you give someone like me to try to warm up my voice, to slowly mm -hmm. work and get... How do I get to my center pitch? How do I get to the best voice I can have and what exercises should I do? A lot of that is just, it's breathing technique. You breathe, you know, from uh, your... your so it's a diaphragm exercise? Diaphragm exercise. And you just hum. Mm -hmm. For how long? Just, just mm -hmm. As long as you can. Mm -hmm. And feel your vocal cords mm -hmm. relax. Mm -hmm. Just relax and relax. Mm -hmm. So they get down mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. And then you might find mm -hmm. that pitch. So you play with your pitch mm -hmm. while you're humming? Sure. How long can you hum for? Mm -hmm. What else would you do? What other exercises? Moo. Moo. Mo. 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 What does that help? What What does that change? What What, it, what, or train? what you're trying to do is you just want to relax those vocal cords, that muscle, to the point where it operates very gently, and 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 that's where you find your true pitch. So it shouldn't hurt when I do that. No. Not okay. At all. No. Why does it hurt you? No. No. Well, a little bit. It felt weird. I guess I'm just not used to, to going there. Sure. My vocal cords are huge. You know, they're they're really big. I've used them. For mine so are pretty time. big too. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I just, <laughs> mine are just as big, if not. <laughs> you really? <laughs> Who's bigger? And do you do them every morning? Every yeah, day? Yeah, every day I do them. Every day. Uh, it, it also relaxes me. It relaxes my brain. It makes me feel nice. Feel so it's good. therapeutic, even. Very much so. What's yeah. another one? Give me another one. It's a. Uh, uh, and then uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, I don't. I don't and think also I can do stick that. out your tongue and try and touch the top of your nose. And then. Get that that that, that feels like a, I'm definitely working a muscle because I can't really. Yeah. Are you supposed to be able to do that? Can you? I can't do it. Some people can. Some people can't. Depends on how big your tongue is. Up. It's almost like a. I, I <laughs> That's me underwater. So I. Oh, it's Dinner. ready. Dinner's <laughs> ready. It's cocktail time. <laughs> and what exercise would you would you give to someone who wants to have more of a trailery voice and go a little bit deeper? Yeah, I have no idea how to bring that on with a person. They have to have some semblance of a gift to begin with, and they they have to have a. They just have Darn to it. That, you know. I've seen this kid on YouTube, this 14-year-old kid. I mean, he's not 14 now, but when he came out with a video, he could sound and do those voices at 14 years old. I'm like, there's got to be a trick. How sure. do you do it? I've seen that video. In a world where the earth was no longer in our control. I think he does, uh, he imitates Don LaFontaine, who used to do all the movie trailers. He's the guy that goes, in a world. Me. You know, that's the guy. Make Is that 14-year-old kid... Smoking a lot of cigarettes. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he's just got an incredible talent with his vocal cords. Um, but did you ever want to do a song? Did you ever want to get into music? Did you ever want to sing? I still do. I still love music. Music to me is the greatest language in the world. You know, it's fabulous. 
there's nothing you can't understand regardless of whether you speak the language or not you know mm-hmm. so i think music is probably it it's the most emotional part of 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 all of us you know it's beautiful whether it's the deb key uh dancing the deb key in, in the middle east you know what that kind of a thing yeah yeah right you got it you are awesome that was thank you my friend that was fun that was awesome there's a deep and rich history of Dave and his family. <laughs> Being the voices we tend to hear behind some of our favorite shows and TV programs and even commercials on YouTube. I came here thinking I would learn all these tricks on how to have an awesome trailer voice. But it's very clear to me now that some things you're either just born with or you're not. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'll never get to use my voice for anything. It just means that some things or voices are better left to guys like Dave. Thank you, David. You're the best. So how did the camera, Hugo? That tail is very dangerous. Does he do tricks? No. He's dumb as a boat. Oh, <laughs> you're not so dumb. He didn't say that. No. <laughs>